Hey, we got a huge package from China today. And I'll tell you what, it's the most expensive things we ordered from there. Along with shipping, customs and taxes, this order cost us about $500. We can't wait to get it and try out. I wonder who will be the first to guess what it is. With a little instruction, translated apparently by a Google Translator, we connect the right parts. Connect all stops. And we get, you know what? This is my friend, is a real 3D printer. And in this video, we're gonna print a lot of interesting things with it. The principle of 3D printer is very simple and brilliant. In a heated nozzle, a plastic wire is placed, which melts there and already in the liquid state comes out from the other end of the nozzle, thanks to the moving table in one axis and the nozzle in the other direction. The printer is able to place the plastic in the layers on top of each other and thus create almost any kind of figure. The layers are so small that it's not easy to notice and we will show you how it works with a hot glue. The nozzle moves along a given route by applying the first layer, then rises a fraction of a millimeter higher and applies the next layer and so dozens and hundreds of layers to get the desired result. Let's start with the simple one. And our first product is a pack top, which consists of two parts. A little unbalanced, but it works! Next, we found a 3D model on the internet and printed these color cable ties. Let's check it out! And yes, it works and holding everything that's been hanging around the table before. In addition, they print out a holder like this that held on the edge of the table. Next, we've got a backpack carbine like this that you can hook things up to. We were able to find a model of a weapon which we later have to assemble. A special program calculates how the printer head should move. We write it on the flash drive and put it in the printer. We fill the plastic wire and start printing. 40 minutes later, the main part is ready. Open it up and print the trigger. Now we have to put it all together using a wooden stick. And this kinda woman hair thing. Tighten a strong thread. And we get this cool mini crossbow. It's a deadly weapon. We put the shell in and everything works. You can even put an armor piercing one in and try it on tomatoes. Okay, Stefan, stay out of the side, don't provoke a friendly fire. And the tomato gets a deadly wound. That's a cool thing to do. By the way, you remember the predatory plant video? We put a piece of sausage there. And a lot of you were wondering what happened to him. Especially since that the video was called. We waited for a few weeks, the jaws didn't open, and eventually they turned into these. Can you imagine what this sausage was made of? Since the flower was goner just from a piece, and the candy didn't hurt it. Alright, let's get back. Who already recognized this figure? That's right, it's a SpongeBob. Or rather, the cookie cutter form with the image of it. We also print out the form with emojis and even for making 3D cookies. And now we're going to test it all. We're rolling the dough and cut out the cookie molds. Oh! I think it's pretty good. And the SpongeBob is cool. Okay. Remove the extra dough. 
we gotta put it on a tray and place it to bake. In 20 minutes we'll see what happens. Wow, that was fun! It's important to make dough that won't inflate when baked, otherwise the figures will deform. Now let's make a volumetic cookie. We add wings to the body of a bird and get a cool volume figure. Oh, and Stefan is already here. The next product I think will surprise everyone, because at first it directly violates the law of physics. We attach the laces to the special ears on the two parts of a product, leave the top above the bottom and watch what happens. It is held at the top of only one thread, without any rigid connection. It just doesn't seem possible. You can put some object on top and it will work anyway. It's like some kind of magic. After that, we print out one more useful thing. It's a stand holder for general AA batteries. I mean, they're usually lying around everywhere and in this holder, it is neatly lined up and takes up less space. But we did not stop here and decided to bring a real folding knife on the 3D printer, yeah yeah. Having such a device at our disposal, I think we are able to supply weapons to even a small country. A knife looks unusual and even a little funny, like it's from Minecraft. But if you sharpen it a little, it turns out to be quite a good cutting device and you can cut even a small tomato or sausage. And at the end we print out our biggest product, which has a lot of parts. It took almost a whole day to print it out. It's a figure of a monkey, that not only looks cool, but also got most of its joints moving, which allows you to put it in a different positions. I wish I had such a printer in my childhood would print out any toys and play all day. And then I'd sell those toys to other kids in the yard making money of it. So Cookie, are we starting a business? I think this printer is gonna come in handy in our videos again.